What are you hauling in your truck today, Oilers? I never thought you'd ask, Oilers. I'm hauling Star Wars. Hauling Star Wars? You can't haul a Star Wars. Star Wars is a concept, man. Wanna bet? <laughs> You may find yourself asking a couple of questions. The first being, why haven't you shaved, Euler? The second question being, why the heck do I have Star Wars in the back of my truck? If you haven't been following the mini series that I have been putting out on the channel, the Tiny Art Experiment series, or the Instagram account dedicated to the Worldwide Star Wars Art Project, in which a bunch of artists contributed their own personal time and work to, then get on it, because we are making uh, basically a giant crowdsourced Star Wars art diorama. Why? For the fun of it, why not? Today I am in Sparks, Nevada, driving out towards Pyramid Lake to a place called the Moon Rocks. Um, I just wanna do some basic sort of free visualization, just like in the movies, um, where we basically set up what I've made so far to kind of field test the dio and make sure that it's going to look pretty much as I was planning uh, in the bright, harsh desert sun, in the desert setting. I have not only brought this Star Wars set, which I believe is uh, made, up, made up of about 11 different buildings and structures um, that have not been fully detailed yet. That's why we're going out to do a field test. I wanna make sure that it's gonna look the right way before I proceed with the final stages of weathering and adding different types of details hoses, pipes, wires, cables, uh, mechanical pieces, and doors even. And I don't want to get too far into the process and have to kind of re 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 rewind myself back into uh, starting over the painting process again. So before we proceed, we're going to do a field test to make sure it looks as good as it can possibly look before wrapping it up. I also brought my HazLab Razor Crest so that I can fly the Razor Crest down into uh, whatever city we call this. We haven't really picked an official name yet. Uh, I asked some of the uh, participating artists for their suggestions and they came up with Moss Oila, which I don't really like. I don't want to name it after my channel. Or Moss Tay for T-A-E for the Tiny Art Experiment. But uh, my camera seems to slowly be falling and you can see the Razor Crest in my back seat there. Um, let me go ahead and move this up. There we go. Hopefully that stays in place. But we're going to be heading out to the Moon Rocks. Punch it, Chewie! Something you may not know is that uh, Nevada is home to wild horses. Now they're so strongly part of Nevada's history that we basically adopted them. And uh, the wild horses kind of breed like crazy. So we have a wild horse adoption center uh, if you want to adopt a wild horse. It happens to be out here by the Moon Rocks. Hidalgo powers, activate. Welcome to Nevada. If you can't tell by the shaking of my camera, it's a <laughs> it's a really bumpy dirt road out here. <laughs> Doo -ba -doo. Artistic shot number one. Creative artistic shot number two. Creative artistic shot number three. Hear me, baby. All together. I found him. Moon delicious. All right, guys, let's make some Star Wars with these uh, moony rocks, shall we? And everything moved around not very much. Good. That's it, okay, we're done. Test over, just kidding.
right, everything's out of the truck and over here. It's amazing out here in the wilds near the moon rocks. It really, you really realize how miniature your miniature is. <laughs> well, let's take a quick look here. Again, we're kind of doing a pre -vis here. This is really just a test. We'll move things around so there's different shadows. But I'm feeling like this looks pretty good. Obviously, the, I, I assumed the native sand was gonna be more of a brown, but I wanted these buildings to have more of a peachy color um, just because I feel like in certain lighting, that's gonna look good. So here's the direct sunlight side, which man, just like looking at this through the camera, it looks almost fake, like, like it's digitally rendered in the direct sunlight, which is interesting. But here it is. At this angle and of course we'll do we'll get close up and we'll do all kinds of close-up shots and we'll get the razor pressed out and clay but this can be obviously reconfigured so how many buildings we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen wow i said eleven then we got the top for that that's getting drying at the shop we're going to add details to just about all these buildings this is the one i weathered with wet painting uh, and a brush uh, but now that i have my airbrush up and running i'll probably do some airbrushing but just to see the differences between the unweathered ones that are just the paint and the weathered one and uh what the overhang looks like in the sunlight as is this is supposed to be sort of the landing area for the razor crest we'll get that in direct sunlight too but there's your overview of the tiny art experiment let's get down there and see what it looks like on the ground level Oh man, that looks pretty Star Wars-y. I gotta say, that looks pretty good. Channel in those twin suns, buddy. Heck yeah. Look at that. Too bad it's just a miniature. It's pretty hot out here in the desert. <sighs> okay, well, I think the test is complete and I think I'm happy with the colors. Um, I may darken up this building just a little bit, and maybe the top of that. And I gotta repair a couple little dings. I actually dropped this when I was in the shop. Uh, <laughs> uh, six off, for, off of a six foot shelf. It only got a little dent there, a little dent there. I was pretty impressed. I was pretty impressed with how sturdy these things are once you wrap them in that tile uh, grout material. So let that be a lesson to all of you who want to make these. Um, that tile grout material is crazy, crazy strong. But I think once I give this to professional photographers and I don't just goof around, you know, because I'm in a hurry and I don't have the patience for photography, I like to be the builder guy. Um, I'm sure they're going to do an amazing job. So one more quick pan around and then uh, we'll move on. Well, that was fun. And by fun, I mean uh, really, really exhausting. And I don't have the patience for photography. And I'm so happy I'm not the one shooting final shots of these things. 
Seems like the older I get, the uh, much more faster I get tired. Much more faster. Seems like the older I get, the faster I get tired. And I'm sure that's true for most of you. So anyways, thanks for watching the field test for the tiny art experiment today out here at the Moon Rocks. You guys have a good day.